so many different stories, and they all are about to intersect here. Oh yeah, this crowd, this crowd will go nuts here in California when Aiden Egan gets to the podium. It is so fun to watch his development as a pro this year. And an army of Yamahas on the inside. I think that might be a start for Deegan, and it is. And a bunch of riders collide. Huge wreck going into turn one. Yeah, really tough crash. It happened so fast. Star Racing's Justin Cooper as he had a big crash. It's a blue wall up in front of Hunter Lawrence right now. Four Yamahas in front of him. Two and a half laps to go. Can Deegan hold on? Justin Cooper even closer. Now it's down to 1.6. The Southern California motocross fans have come to the tribal land of the Palabanda Mission Indians, better known as Fox Raceway. As we kick off the outdoor portion of the Super Motocross World Championship, round one of the Pro Motocross Championship here from Southern California. Rough end of the Supercross season. Give us a quick recap of what your couple weeks look like uh, with Eli getting hurt, and then how has the prep been for Andis for the summer? Yeah, you know, it was an unfortunate situation uh, with Eli going out the way we did. But, you know, it's racing, and um, there's nothing nothing he did wrong, nothing we did wrong. It's just an unfortunate situation, and we had to uh, move on from it as fast as we could and get focused on the outdoor series and try to go win this championship with Dylan. And uh, we did, you know, everybody put their heads together as a team to try to get Dylan prepared to come win this. different stories and they all are about to intersect here in the Geico Motorcycle 250 Moto 1. Uh, Justin Cooper, which is odd for him to be this far back, you know, considering he's a great starter, but he's still in a good position. Looks like uh, Danger Boy is going to get around, maybe both of them, but get back around Hunter for sure. By the way, there's been great anticipation for young riders like Rider D and Danger Boy Deegan to meet up on the racetrack together. So that's what we love, these storylines, battles within the battle and different expectations that the riders have. Racing 32nd card is sideways. Now the Reds are up. Gates down. And that's Jed going to lead him in and out of turn one. But Ferrandez and Sexton right there. So a lot of the favorites starting up front early. Leader 26-3, Dylan 27-7, Chase 26-8. Dylan 27-7, Chase 26-8. Dylan 28-2, Chase 29-1, Chase 29-1 to Dylan 28-2, Aaron also 29-1. And we'll wait and see if Ferrandez can finish it off in third, he does, and that's all the expectations were for his team. Aiden Deegan went down in the first moto, was able to come back and finish sixth. That's a really good ride for the rookie. Could he be in play for a podium here in moto number two? Can't rule that out. Rider now, 40 of them for 30 minutes and two laps. Let's go. It's Hayden Deegan down to the inside on him, looking to take the third place position away, and Deegan has. Yeah, nice move by Deegan. He's trying to go up to the front. He doesn't want uh, Hunter Lawrence to get away, which he already is. Battle beginning to brew here. It's Tom Bial, 128 in second. Eight Deegan is closing in. You know, even with Tom Bial is. But there it is. Yeah. There's the pass. That's a grown man pass, even though I'm from the team. But that was good to see. 
Let's see what um, Tom can do. He can square back up and try to get some momentum or Hayden's gone. Listen to the fans. This is a Southern California native. That's part of it. And is Deacon going to come across in second? He will. The rookie will be second overall. And the world champ will be third. This crowd, this crowd will go nuts here in California when Hayden Egan gets to the podium. It is so fun to watch his development as a pro this year. Just like they were in Moto 1. Practically an instant replay. Leader 27, Dylan 31 3. 31 3, you guys, my number 30. Gotta pick it up. across the line in third place. It's beautiful California sunshine atop the second round of the 2023 Pro Moto Cross Championship, the Carson City Motorsports Hangtown Classic. The rookie, last week's runner-up, Hayden Deegan. Time to bring the noise. Time to go racing and hang down. And an army of Yamahas on the inside. I think that might be a start for Deegan and the end. So Danger Boy with your Motosport.com home shot. And Justin Cooper did get a good start this time. Great start for Hayden Deegan. Great start for Justin Cooper. This is what we were looking for. Even Tom Piao. So... Um, this is what both of them needed. I feel like these two can now give Hunter a lot of problems in the air up front. Two and a half laps to go. Can Deegan hold on? Justin Cooper even closer. Now it's down to 1.6. But this is going to be the first moto win. The first real checkered flag in a points paying position. Mark down the history books. Hayden Deegan is a winner in Pro Moto Cross. Congratulations, kid. That was well deserved. I'm feeling dangerous. How excited you had to be in those last few laps? Uh, yeah, man, this is a dream since I was a little kid to win. And uh, fourth race, it, it's gnarly. And um, uh, I was just sending it. I was getting a little tired at the end because I left my mouth open the whole time. But, uh, dude, that's unreal. I'm so hyped. And, uh, man, you know, I want to win bad. And uh, I think I can prove that to you guys. Here it is, everybody. 40 riders, 30 minutes and two laps. The Hangtown Classic. Is underway. Dylan Ferranda is going to lead him into turn one. Webb and Lawrence are right there. And how did Jet Lawrence get the lead? Yeah, and two more lap riders to deal with. And Ferranda almost got hung out to try. Another great drive on the inside. Plesker looking to get him back. All right, it may be. Now I'm going to have to square it up on him. One race to the line for second. And Ferranda holds off Plesker. Is that Justin Cooper? Yes, it is Justin Cooper. Oh, Hunter Lawrence almost went down from second. But he's got it locked down to the Honda. Justin Cooper, though, the starts are back today. Aiden Deegan starting to slip away from the Shimoda De Francisco battle and start to close a fellow rookie, Chance Hymas. for Justin Cooper compared to last week. He'll be second overall. Tom Vial third in the moto there in the 128. I believe Vial will be fourth overall. Good job of the two-time world champion. And Hayden Deegan looking for third overall today. 
and Deegan with one four moto scores. Gates down. And Jen gets pinched off by Ferrandez this time. A huge pile up around the outside. And Webb holds off Ferrandez all the way to the end. We're ready for the third round of the Pro Moto Cross Championship for 2023, the Toyota Thunder Valley National from Lakewood, Colorado. Let's go racing! And Lawrence a good start in the middle, but he gets pinched off and a bunch of riders collide! Huge wreck going into turn one! That is RJ Hampshire in the center of the screen of the white. 24 down, Guillaume Perez has hurt his arm, he's walking off the track. It's a blue wall up in front of Hunter Lawrence right now, four Yamahas in front of him. You know, I, I think with Justin Cooper, the biggest thing for him was just more mentally. Um, you know, we know he got a good start. He was, he was up front, and this is not unexpected for him. This one ends well. Justin Cooper, first photo win of 2023. Yamaha's battling for it again, this time a clean start, no one down, and it's Justin Cooper into the lead, Levi Kitchen right behind him. Oh, certain parts is allowing these guys to be a lot more racier. Oh, and, Justin oh. Cooper tips over! Yeah. I thought he was going to save it! Well, well, 11th down. place now for Cooper, and this was the break he needed to get on the board, get his first win of the year, and take a few points away from Hunter Lawrence, and now it's flipped completely. It's going to be up to Levi Kitchen to try to stop Hunter in this photo. Jet leading them into turn one. He's got Ferrandez and Seen Cerullo right with him. Ferrandez going to try the outside of the number 14 to get Norin. Oh, and it comes together and he and Plessing are down. <laughs> and we're down. All right, go to work. Uh, to work. Yeah, so second moto today, uh, he got involved with a little bit of a tango up on the start. And um, I think he got ran over a couple times and whatnot, but he ended up with uh, a broken humerus. Uh, pretty low, but pretty bad. So they saw him at St. Anthony's Hospital and uh, evaluated him. It was obviously broken. They x-rayed it and whatnot. And uh, they basically just wrapped it up and said, uh, yeah, go see your orthopedic surgeon. So. Um, Awesome news is uh, we've got a doctor up in uh, Vail, which happens to be um, you know about an hour and a half drive. So I drove him up there, and uh, we had surgery on it third or on Sunday morning, 9 a.m. And uh, they put a big plate in it. Uh, matter of fact, the doctor said it's about the biggest plate he's ever put in somebody's body. But uh, unable to get enough screws in solid bone. Um, they had to end up putting a couple screws up here, a couple screws down here, a couple screws in the in the bone where it had fractured, and uh, so yeah. And then he ended up flying red eye that night. Uh, we both flew red eye that night, Sunday night, and uh, so now it's a heal process, obviously, and um, 
he'll, uh, they say six weeks, he can start riding, which is fantastic. We've headed east for this, the Geico Motorcycle, High Point National from Mount Morris, Pennsylvania, the fourth pro motocross race of 2023. tough crash and it happens so fast as he's coming through the section he's riding right on the edge the front end starts to slide and as it does the back end does he gets dismounted from the bike high sides and then the handlebar kind of gives him an uppercut to the throat area today for Monster Yamaha Star Racing's Justin Cooper as he had a big crash in the second qualifying session today and speaking with their team manager Jensen Hendler a few minutes ago he won't be lining up today they did take him to the hospital for precautionary measures hopefully he's okay and hopefully we can get him back for red but but this is how it ends he actually did walk around in his pit area for a while but for precautionary measures with that throat he has taken an ambulance ride to the hospital Here we go! Fly racing, 30 second card is sideways, it's time for the High Point National! Hayden Deacon is making moves, he wants to take second place away! Yeah, these first couple laps are so crucial to get clean and clear vision. Oh no! Oh. Hampshire down and Deacon in the lead! I'm telling you, we see it so often with RJ Hampshire. It's all going his way. A crash, and Deegan is the benefactor. Deegan to the lead, and he has been very consistent as a rookie. Rookie of the year in Supercross, and he's doing it again here in Motocross. This one, and Deegan came so close. But the veteran takes it on the final lap. It was right there. And uh, man, we had some fun. It was a good battle. I enjoyed it. Congrats. Good luck in Motocross. Let's bring it. In Moto2 for the 250s. Levi Kinson on the 43 leads him. And he's got the Motosport.com whole shot. Too. But here's Deegan on the right side of your screen, making up, getting caught in that traffic in turn one. Looking to get some spots back. He's on the inside when he gets to the top of the hill. And it's going to work for the pass. Deegan around the outside of Callan Hawkins and makes another pass. This is the proverbial hot knife through butter watching Deegan. very back and just uh, pick guys off one by one. Yeah man, that was uh, that was something crazy. I crashed on the star, got ran over, got the whole nine yards and uh, I got up and my mindset was I'm either gonna crash or I'm gonna get on the podium today. And I just sent it so hard. Horrible start. He got hit by about nine riders and he almost went down just now. Got a lot of work to do. Got to pass a lot of people. in the world, they train year-round, and in motocross, many of our moto athletes do not attend traditional education. 
they go to online or what used to be called homeschool. And so today it is with great pleasure that we present a high school diploma. This goes to Hayden Deegan. Up front in this photo, Deegan actually got the whole shot, but Levi Kitchen gets around him and he was on fire. But hey, Deegan did what he needed to do. He knew Hunter Lawrence was out, and this rookie was on verge to be able to get his first overall victory of his career. Yeah, but here is Deegan, knows he has the overall in his hands, and he's going to be, as he pointed out on the podium, the first American to win a race this 